Hello and welcome to this video that will ask the question, what is a suitcase and should you buy one? What is a suitcase and should you buy one? So you may have gone onto the internet and typed into bing.com, what is a suitcase and should I buy one? Well, that's why you're here and I'm going to explain to you whether it is worth buying one but before I do that I'll need to explain to you what a suitcase is because there's people that don't know so that's something important to explain to you. A suitcase is like a bag that you put stuff in. Just, just go on the internet if you're not sure. The internet is sure to explain to you what it is. So I don't, I don't need to explain the internet's there. So now that I have precisely explained to you what a suitcase is, the next question you're going to want to know is, should you buy one? Well, that is a good question. So in order to answer that question, you're probably going to want to see one in action. Thankfully, I was just looking under my workstation and I happened to come across this. a suitcase. Yes, this is what all the fuss is about. It's a suitcase. It's a lo lovely suitcase. Already I'm not too much of a fan of the suitcase because it hurt my head. It's, you've got to be so careful with the suitcase otherwise you can cause injuries like a head. I've got, I've got like a head, a broken head injury at the moment so going to need to fix that somehow. So I'm now going to give you a quick guided tour of the suitcase so that you can see all the features it has. And the very first thing that you're going to notice is that it's really big and bulky and that's already going to put a lot of you off. Put me off already because it's just so much. There's a lot, there's a lot happening here. It's just, it's just really big. Yeah just got things sticking out of it and, and stuff so it's not for everyone I, I can acknowledge that but nonetheless I'll just show you what it has so there's some like there's a zip here so we'll just open the zip like this and the zip's open now so that stuff what have we got? Ooh, it comes with a bag of crisps. My opinion of the suitcase has now changed. It comes with a free bag of crisps. Okay, that's so actually quite a good perk to having the suitcase. That alone is probably worth the purchase price. So that's something to think about. Now another thing that you may have noticed is that it says l l l luggage. Now luggage is is like what it is. So again if you're unsure what this thing is you just look at what it says on it and that will help tell you it's another good feature of the suitcase if we flip the suitcase over like this we can see there's more writing so there's more things for you to read we've got this thing and this is like to like lift lift up so this also doubles up as like a gym equipment apparatus so you can just lift it like this with all your strength but if if you haven't been working out for that long then don't overstrain yourself otherwise your shoulder could snap off and you don't want to let that happen because that will put the the suitcase in a bad light so we don't want to do that if we turn the suitcase over again we can see this. This is like a double handle. So you hold this handle like this, this handle like this, and this is for a more secure lift. So this is for those people that want to work out both their arms at the same time. So we just lift it like this. We just heave it up. And yes, oh, I can really feel that in my arms. And it's, it feels very good. Now, if we take a look at the very back of the suitcase, we will notice that there's not that many features, and that's quite disappointing, because I was hoping to see some features here, but there's nothing here. Maybe it's hidden. 
No, there's just nothing there. Bit disappointing with that. But we move on. Right, so the next part of the suitcase is the underside. And here, there's like some wheel things. And these, these are just to play with. So you go like that. And they should all do that. Yes, that one does that as well. And then there's this one. Okay. So this is good, good fun. It's good to play with. And this one as well, actually. I didn't do that one. Yeah, so that's, that's a cool little feature of the suitcase. It has these little things that spin around like that. Uh, I don't really know what else, what other function they could serve other than just going like this. So the novelty will probably wear off eventually. So getting a bit bored of doing doing this over and over again. But maybe you'll have a lot of fun. And actually it's quite good. And I've hit a second wind. Actually that's quite fun now. This is brilliant. So I'm just gonna show you one additional feature of the suitcase and it is these zips at the top here. So you're just gonna to want to open them up just grab one of them, just yank it open, like that. Oh, it doesn't open anymore that side. But no worry, we've got a spare zip here. So we'll try and open this one, just force it open, like that. As far as it will go, just keep going, just like this. Well, I think that's as far as it goes. And then what you want to do is open up the lid. And this is the main part of the suitcase. It's an empty hole. It's nothingness inside. What you'll notice is some, some stringy stuff here. And there's another bit of string here at the bottom. So more stuff for you to play with, which is, which is nice. That's always nice. And there's some stuff that you can put inside. So I guess if you want to, you can put stuff inside of here and then you can just like shut it again. So I'm just going to put some weights in here just to show you what it looks like. So I'll just, let me just find some weights. Oh, what have we got here? There's something on the floor. There's something on the floor here. We found, found a weight. So we'll just put the weight, put the weight inside. Oh, it's very heavy now. Oh, this is a bit, it's a bit tedious this. And then, and then you just want to close it. It's too much weight. And then, and then you just, and you just shut, shut the case, close the zip. Make sure you close the zip, otherwise the weight, all the weight that you've just put inside will fall out. And you don't really want to let that happen. So just close it. Just like this. And then, and then the other one. And then the weight is successfully inside and all your goods um, and stuff are inside here, which is ideal if you want to put stuff inside a suitcase. I don't see the point because I like to carry everything with, with me without, because now I can't access it. Look, look, it's so much effort now. I have to open up the zip again. I don't have time to keep opening up zips to get stuff. I'm, I'm busy. I've got too much on. So this is something to think about. It wastes, wastes a lot of, what is this? So it wastes a lot of time trying to put stuff in and then take it out again. That's not a good feature of the suitcase. Now one other thing that I've heard about the suitcase is that it can be used for transportation. So I'm just going to see if this particular suitcase offers that facility. So I'll just put the suitcase on the bed just like this and then see if I can get inside and try and get myself transported away from her so just see if that works and then make sure you make sure once you're inside the suitcase that you close the zips just like, just like this if you don't close the zips then It'll be hard to transport. It's not working. There's something wrong with the suitcase. I can't fit inside the suitcase. I don't know what the issue is. 
Oh, this. I think I've got a faulty suitcase. It's not working. It's not closing. It's such a shame. Oh darn it. And that is the complete review of the suitcase. I hope now that you can make a decision if you want to buy one or not. I know that I don't. Well, I've got one. I don't. I don't need another one. I've got. I've got one. If I were to rate this product out of ten, I would probably not rate it because it, it doesn't serve a purpose. I try to get inside of the suitcase, but it's. A, it's. I think it's just broken. So it doesn't really work. It's just got like features everywhere. Wow. What on earth has just happened here? Oh, that's quite nice. It's like, well, that's actually quite fun. I actually take back my rating of not rating and I give it a one. I give it a one now because it's it's got this thing. That was, that was unexpected. So I quite, I quite like that. So you can, you can do this if you like now. You weren't able to do this before, but yes, yeah, it's full of surprises. So I quite like that. If there is another object or device that you're thinking about purchasing and just are not too sure whether you should go ahead with it, then let me know and I'll see if I can persuade you in one direction or another. So until then, I'll catch you all later. And I'm just going to put this thing, just put this thing here. It's fine there. So see see you all. I feel a bit silly, but I've just realised that the things at the bottom here are wheels and they're used to help manoeuvre the suitcase, not just to play with. You, I mean, they are fun to play with, but you can actually manoeuvre the suitcase. And I'll just show you how that's done. So you just put it down like that, and then you just drag it like this. And this is really easy, and it helps you to move the suitcase in any direction. You can go this way, you can go this way, and you can go backwards as well, like this. It's just something that I didn't know, but yes, it is, it is another feature of the suitcase. So the suitcase gets better and better for me, in my opinion. And I really think you should consider getting one if you like to move things around like this. So catch you later. I'm having, having fun now with my suitcase, which is good. Take it this way now.